what's up youtube it's miss d i'm back with another video um today i want to start my um first installment of um another part to my channel that i want to call what's really going on and with what's really going on, it's just going to be me kind of breaking down some current event issues to you um, and then discussing it and allowing you to form your own opinion and maybe even have a little conversation down in the comment section. Um, basically, if you're anything like me, sometimes you'll be hearing about something on the internet or on the news or something, some type of new legislation, some type of um, new issue in politics or something that's going on and you really want to kind of be informed about it but you really don't understand what's really going on so this is going to kind of be like my take on it um, as far as doing the research for you and kind of breaking it down into layman's terms so that we all understand it um, and then we can all kind of stay informed so what I want to talk about today is, of course, what's going on in the news with the anti-piracy laws that are happening. Um, okay, so here, here are the basics, just really quickly. There are two legislations that are up to be voted on, and I can't remember the date that they're supposed to be voted on. I think um, one of them is really soon. I want to say like January 24th or 26th or somewhere in there. Um... And basically, here are the two laws or the two legislations that will be up for a vote. Um, there's the SOPA Act or the SOPA, which is Stop Online Piracy Act. Then there is PIPA, which is Protect IP Act. And they're pretty much basically the same thing. It's just that one um, SOPA came from the House of Reps the House of Representatives, and PIPA comes from the Senate, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, comes from the U.S. Senate. So um, they're pretty much saying the same thing. Um, and the only other thing that I noticed that was kind of different between them is that they have some different definitions on what they call a um, piracy site or, or a site that's doing wrong. So here is um, the reason why these two legislations were kind of written up. Um, as you know, it's been a huge issue for a while since, maybe not since internet came to be, but I just know within the last few years, there's been a huge issue with um, piracy and with the fact that people can take movies and um, watch them on the internet for free. Brand new movies that just came out in a the theater like yesterday. Um, you can get it on the internet. You can find a website that has it and watch it. Um, brand new move, uh, CDs that come out. Sometimes you can get them before they actually hit the stores. Um, you know, and that's becoming a huge issue. And America has tried in many ways to combat this issue here at home in America. We can, um, companies can sue people who are doing the downloading or people who are selling um, that do not have the copyrights to do so. Um, websites, local websites here in America can be shut down if they are um, found to be, you know, doing this type of business or whatever. But the problem comes into play, even though those things are going on, we're able to kind of police it that way. We don't have any control over what is going on overseas. So there are websites um, overseas that are doing the same things that we're doing and they're not necessarily being policed in their countries. And so we, because America has an open internet and because America does not censor what can be found on the internet and what sites that Americans can go to. As Americans, we can go to those overseas websites and we can get our pirated movies and music that way. So um, there's been an outcry mostly from Hollywood and then I'm sure from recording industry and things like that saying, hello, help us. We need something to go on. This is getting out of hand. Our hard earned 
um, work is being taken from us, stolen, and being sold to profit other people that's not us. And it's not fair. So we need you to do something. So these two legislations were, were basically brought into effect to stop or to figure out a way to stop the overseas pirating of, uh, I guess, American um music and movies and I think some I read somewhere also it has something to also do with um medicine and possibly like cosmetics or something but if you know anything about that put it in the information below because I only saw uh in the comment box below because I only saw I think one thing about it anyway I'm getting off topic okay so SOPA uh so both of them are basically were saying two things in the beginning when they first came out. It was saying that if you are an internet service provider, think of AOL, Comcast, Bright House, um, wherever you get your internet service from. It was saying that internet service providers would be court ordered to block websites um, that the overseas websites that are, or any websites that are, um, using pirated music or, you know, whatever the case may be. But those websites would have to be blocked by the internet service provider so that your subscribers can't get to it, basically, is what they wanted it to, to um, be. SOPA was defining the website as any foreign infringing site that is committing or facilitating copyright infringement. And then Pippa was saying that it was any site, you would have to block any site um, that had no other significant use other than copyright infringement. Okay, so that was happening at first. Then there was like a huge outcry against that part of the legislation that said, wait a minute, America has a free or has an open internet. It's open. We do not censor our websites. We are allowed to go to whatever internet website that we want to go to. Okay? So, um, the writers of the legislation took that portion out. And they then changed it and said, okay, you don't... you." don't have to block the website, but you have to remove any links that you have anywhere in any search engine to that website, okay? As an internet service provider, you have to go around and remove any links you have. So basically, the only way that the subscriber could get to it is by actually typing it into the box and taking it directly there. So any links, any advertisement, any anything needed to be removed. So that was one part. Then they also said that any advertiser um, or um, any advertiser or any search engine, think of Google, think of Yahoo, um, Bing, any of those search engines would have to stop doing businesses with any of those sites that are being accused of doing the infringement. So any ads, any money that was going to that site for, for anything would have to be you would have to stop doing business stop doing business with the site and basically try to remove all funding from the site so that the site would eventually shut itself down or be shut down um and also that those sites could hold um repercussions and have consequences for um basically you know uh, for inf for having something to do with those infringing sites. So, basically, <coughs> those were the two parts of the legislation. You have, like I said, the people for it that were saying that this is what we need because the internet is just getting way too out of hand. Then you have the people against it, against it like those search engines, like those advertising companies saying, whoa, wait a minute, Th that's not fair. It's, it's not fair for you to police me um, basically to try to get to the criminal. Because basically that's what's happening. You're punishing me because of what the criminal is doing. Okay? So um, that's kind of, you know, really quick layman's terms about what's going on with those two um, legislations and why it's such a big deal right now and that you have those people for and against. Um, 
Also, while I was reading the different articles, which I will, like I said, put links in the bottom so that you can go in and read those articles too. The ones that I read and um, were really um, easy to understand and they were um, well written. So I would definitely advise you to go read them and I'll put them down there. But there was one article, I think it was the PC World article, where there were people who had read the article that were commenting on the bottom. And one guy said something that really made sense to me. He said, um, it's like using the analogy that if I'm a newspaper and I have a classified ad in my newspaper that um, a copyright owner sees and didn't give permission for that ad, can go to court and basically shut that newspaper down, the newspaper itself down, and not only do that, but also make the people who are were purchasing the newspaper and were buying the newspaper and probably didn't even see the classified ad would now no longer be able to um, purchase that newspaper until the infringement was removed from it. OK, like that's huge. That That's really big. And to me, just my personal opinion on the matter is that, you know, that's not right. Like we can't punish um, Internet sites, websites and things. We can't we can't punish them for having or giving access to the Internet, no matter what it is like. We know that piracy is wrong. We know that there needs to be some kind of laws created. But I don't feel like this, in my opinion, is that this is just not the way to go. It just isn't. Because you're moving towards censorship. Because if with this, it's going to be something else and something else. And next thing you know, we're only going to be allowed to go to the library website on our internet. That's it. And we're only going to be allowed to look at the family um the family genre, and poems. And I, I really feel like that's the direction in which we're going, is that we're going to be moving into censorship. And, you know, this is America, and our internet is supposed to be open. So um, I thought that that was really bad. And it's just, it, the more you think about it, and you think about ways that this could affect you, someone who may not be watching pirated movies or listening to pirated music, but... You use these websites that will eventually be shut down. And how would that affect you? Or that could be shut down. And how would that affect you? Okay. So to me, it's a huge issue um, that I think, you know, you need to pay attention to. Because it will affect you if these laws are passed. Um, so just stay informed. Make your own decision. But definitely stay informed and know what is going on around you so that you can do what you need to do to um, make sure that these things don't happen. If you go on to Google's website tonight, today is, uh, what is it, the 18th, I think? Yeah, January 18th. Um, they actually have a link on there that provides more information about SOPA and PIPA and also um, has a um, petition that you can sign if you feel like this is not the right thing to do. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, please stay informed. Deuces.